to our agenda item six, which would be our public hearing portion. We'll go to 6A. That would be REZ 2013-11 Notting Hill or Road. Mr. Davenport. Yes, sir. Thank you. Ultimately, the request from the applicant in this case is to change the zoning on the subject property from RA to R21, or half acre zoning, what we believe will be the development of a residential subdivision. You can see the various positions there from both the TRC and the planning commission for your consideration tonight. Okay, do we have any questions for Mr. Davenport? Um, in our notebook, Mr. Davenport, it says that there are uh, two purported representatives have signed. One owner is reported deceased and with no title to that owner's interest is being uncertain. If we have any clarification on this since yesterday about the title of this property by the two people who Reported that representatives have signed for them, and also what the status is on the state decedent's estate for that year. Sir, with those, <clears throat> with those two, uh, I think that I've heard updates by word of mouth. I don't have any documentation to show the commission. I've heard one update from the applicant's agent by word of mouth, and then I've verified that with someone who is connected to the family to see if that checked out verbally and I got verbal confirmation that what we've been given is accurately reflecting that however I, I don't have any documentation to show you none has been provided to me at this time and so I don't have any to document that only by verbal I have some concern of us um, approving this or making a decision on it until we have um, you know clear legal documentation on these as far as the zoning, I think that's something that could be done. But Mr. Page, could I ask uh, Mr. Elliott if he would you give please do insight on that situation or whether or not that should be a lot of our legal counsel? The power of the property is vested in the Board of Commissioners with or without an application. Um, your ULDC provides simply that the applicant shall sign the application. LDC doesn't speak to a circumstance where there are multiple owners under a D. Um, so I think it's left for you to apply a rule of reason whether a sufficient number of owners in your view has uh, signed it because there will obviously be circumstances where there are multiple owners and one or more of the multiple owners be located or the title to their interest determined. So you're saying we could go ahead and rezone this even though the, the legal status of some of the owners is still uncertain? Yes, because the power to zone is your power. You can rezone even without an application. Okay. Any other questions from the commission? If, um, you know, for my part, I, I am most interested in obtaining the necessary signatures. I think that would alleviate a lot of concerns before we actually consider uh, this case. Is it necessary if, if we desire to table it for yet another 30 days? Is it necessary to go ahead and hold the public hearing and let those speak for or against? If you have a motion to table, you can table it for 30 days. But is it necessary to go ahead and call for those to speak for or against tonight if we want a table, is what I'm asking. I think that's your choice. If you, if you move to table, then I don't see the necessity to uh, have a public hearing, but you certainly could have a public hearing and then make a motion. Mr. Chairman, would you entertain a motion to, to table this at this time? Um, I would like to kind of I would like to see it move forward. Uh, this agenda item I know has been just from my recollection has been on the last three agendas, uh, trying to get this issue resolved. And so I think let's uh, move through the public hearing portion of it and then make a decision. Okay. Okay. We'll move into that portion right now. At this time, I'd like to ask if there's anyone in the audience 
that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Hearing none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward and state your name and address, please. Clay Browning, 4140 Waterbury Circle. Um, I represent Mr. Jerry Stoker, uh, the proposed developer for the site. Um, as Mr. Davenport, and you've already seen, the proposal is for a 24 lot subdivision. Um, can be rezoned a half acre lot with a water system and septic. Um, there's developers proposing a 1600 square foot minimum heated house with a two car enclosed garage. Um, and I just wanted to note that uh, the uh, future land development map does reflect a character area of suburban, suburban area. And the permitted zonings in that character area are R1, R21, R10, and even possible multifamily residential in that area. So this is a median of the actual density requirements of this zoning or, or this character area. Um, <clears throat> the subject property located about three and a half miles from the new Lowndes County School System or County School on River Road. And I would also like to note that in the 2030 comprehensive plan, uh, the development strategy for that area actually starts out stating moderate density should be promoted in these areas with greater focus on traditional neighborhood development. And I would argue that this is pretty much the traditional of the neighborhood as there is. Uh, with that said, that's all I have to say. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them if I can. And thank you for taking the time to hear this. We have any questions for Mr. Brown? I have a question, Mr. Brown. Um, I understand these are definitely going to be half acre lots and less small. Right, that's correct. That's correct. That's all. So, any other questions? Thank you, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward and state your name and address, sir. Right, and I'm one of the heirs to that property. Uh, it's three of us that are still living and in Fair Hill. Three has passed on, and one one is in very bad shape. So I'm here on their behalf. We have all agreed that we need to change the zoning so that we can dispose of this property. Um, all the legal heirs have signed off, and there is, we don't have any handouts whatsoever. And we would like very much to get it approved if possible. Do we have any questions for Mr. Wright? Can you speak to the, the uh, Mr. Wright, to the uh, issue of the person who's passed away and well, their interest there. <coughs> Family member, if you could two, clarify. Two of, those, two of those who have passed away on the head, uh, well, one of them had five children, but they have signed off on it. One of them had just one daughter, and she's here tonight. The other four of us are living, so there is no problem. There's no family problem that is. Any other questions for Mr. Rock? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this request? May they stand up to acknowledge that they're in favor? I'd rather come forward and speak in favor, or, or we can acknowledge that there are some folks in, in the audience that's in favor. One more time, is there anyone else in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? All right, hearing none, we'll now close the public portion of this.
Fury, and then uh, we'll turn it back over to the commissioners for discussion. Mr. Chairman, I move that we uh, rezone the property from R8 to R21 with the condition that all lots shall front interior roads and all lots be conditioned to face inward. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second in a discussion. I think our, my questions have been answered by the people that have addressed us today, so I'm okay. Any other questions? Hearing none, we'll call the vote. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Any opposed, like sign. Motion carries unanimous.